Ah, good morning, everyone. Mark here on the Culinary Compass, and what could be better in the morning with your cup of coffee than some homemade barbecue sauce? <laughs> I could literally drink this. I could put this on ice, let it, you know, a little vodka, good to go. Um, so I want to talk to you today uh, briefly, and um, I refuse to give you any recipes, and I refuse to show you today how to do anything. Uh, I'm violating all the rules, right? Show, don't tell, but I am going to tell you. You know, I believe that simplicity uh, is a great thing when you're looking particularly at preserving. You want to get, get it done. You have a large quantity, so it really has to be simple. Go and get yourself that box of bruised tomatoes, um, ones that are way overripe. Go to your CSA, go down the row if you can, and pick the stuff that's on the ground. So, shitty tomatoes, really inexpensive. That's number one. Number two, onions. Number three, garlic, olive oil. Why don't you get something that you can sweeten stuff with, let's say honey, sugar. Um, that's the core, basically, of those three items. Vinegar. Okay, so let's start off with barbecue sauce. Take your tomatoes, throw them in the oven. Just chop them up. Don't worry about the skins. Let them roast for a couple of hours, just to get that kind of roasted feeling. Take them out, let them cool. Now, to, if you want to make the confit, the ketchup, and the barbecue sauce in the same day or two, go ahead and take like as many pans as you can, like 20, 30, 40 pounds, and just keep feeding them into the oven, pulling them out of the oven. Feed them into the oven, pull them out of the oven. And then take all of those roasted tomatoes, you're talking like a big amount, and put them in whatever vessel you can to just keep them fresh for that day and the day after to create your three different things. All right, so let's go barbecue sauce. Take the tomatoes, put them in a vessel, a pot, right? Go ahead and on the side, saute yourself some onions, uh, uh, do a reduction of vinegar. And when I say vinegar, I mean, you know, like simple red wine vinegar. I use cider vinegar actually a lot because I like that, that flavor. So onions, vinegar, garlic, what kind of herbs do you like? Do you like something that's a little bit more earthy? So you're looking at thyme and rosemary. Make this kind of slaw, right? This whole melange of stuff. Throw it in with the tomatoes. Add a shitload of vinegar, okay? Just a ton of vinegar. Taste it and let it boil down. You want to put other stuff in it? Yeah, sure. Sweeten it up with some sugar. Um, maybe a little honey. You have other flavors you enjoy? put them in for goodness sake in my barbecue sauce i throw peach jam okay as it's cooking so i get that little and i don't use as much sugar so i end up with that really kind of fruity peachy flavor you like to spice it up go ahead throw tabasco sauce in throw some fresh peppers in it really doesn't matter the vinegar and the tomatoes is what gets you that barbecue-ish flavor that's it <laughs> i mean that's how you make freaking barbecue sauce you want to make ketchup well, um, you really pretty much can do the exact same thing with less vinegar and a little sweeter. I swear to you. And reduce it more and you got more of kind of a, a, a ketchup-y type of, uh, of uh, texture. If you want to have it super, super, super smooth, put it in a blender. If you just want to have it a little bit more kind of chunky smooth, put it in a Cuisinart and pulse it. So simple. Really the exact same process. It's vinegar that's the big difference. So tomato confit. Couldn't be more simple. You, you basically take jars like this. Let's say you fill that up three quarters of the way with uh, tomato. Um, not any of the drained liquid on the bottom. So just the hunks of tomato. Um, you fill it up, uh, you put a little garlic in. Make whole cloves is wonderful. Any of the herbs you would like, uh, traditionally rosemary, thyme, um, those kind of really earthy Provencal herbs. Um, and then fill it up with uh, olive oil. Nice, basic, quality olive oil. Done. You just put the lid on that baby, put it in the back of your refrigerator, it'll stay forever. That's how you make tomato confit. So, anyway, um, three simple things to make with basically base ingredients that are similar. Um, yummy, inexpensive to, 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 to produce, delicious and easy to preserve for all year use. So, for the Culinary Compass, ciao for now.
That really is good. 